What's going on everybody? Core here from Core Gaming. Today we are talking Protection Paladins in World of Warcraft 6.2.3. We're going to be talking about the stat priority for Protection Paladins and why is haste so dang important for that stat priority. First and foremost, I am referencing and using a lot of data I have obtained from Icy Veins. I'm going to be going through and really going in depth and explaining it all to you. The basic stat priority I am about to present to you is assuming you have two things. A general eye level of around 700 and the Warlord's Unseeing Eye Trinket from Kilrog. Any of the versions, normal, heroic, upgraded, or not upgraded, mythic if you're awesome. With both of these two things, you can obtain global cooldown haste cap of 50%. All that said, the stat priority for Protection Paladins is bonus armor, number one. But number two, haste to 50%. Number three, mastery. Number four, critical strike. Number five, versatility. And number six, multi-strike. I'm going to go into much greater detail on what these stats do for us and why they are listed in this priority. Because they all have a use. They all have a use for our survivability as Protection Paladins. It's just that bonus armor, haste, mastery have much higher priority to our to our survivability than crit versatility multi-strike at least right now okay starting out with the most basic one bonus armor bonus armor increases your armor mitigation and your attack power what does that mean flat out it just means it lowers the amount of damage you take by raising your armor and it also increases your attack power which in turn increases your damage slash threat this is our most potent secondary stat to quote icy veins since it is only available for rings cloak and neck and some trinkets we prioritize it in most of those slots i'm going to say not the trinkets at least not all the time next up we have haste haste to 50 percent i'm going to go way more in depth than that in a little bit so we're going to skip it for now but you do want to get it to 50 percent next up mastery this is a big one our mastery is divine bulwark what it does is it increases our chance to block attacks and it also increases your attack bar very similar to bonus armor and it also increases the damage reduction you get from our active mitigation shield of the righteous what active mitigation means is that it's it's a spell that we are actively clicking in order to mitigate more damage like icy vein says it is a direct increase of our survivability so bonus armor haste mastery all direct increases to survivability next up after mastery we have critical strike now if you're a dps and you're first out trying tanking you're like what why do I even want crit at all? All it does is increase my damage. I mean, I guess if I want to do more damage, that's great. But what it actually does for prote for pr protection paladins, and I think actually for all tanks, critical strike increases parry. Due to a spell called repost, which is a passive ability, you gain one parry for every one point of crit. It's a direct crit equals parry. Higher crit, higher parry. Parry is a straight up avoidance stat. If you are parrying, you are avoiding damage completely. The critical strike for prop paladins also increases damage, and it also increases our healing. We do do a lot of healing, so so high crit means that we're going to crit on our heels more often, which is great. After critical strike, we have one of the new stats added in this expansion, versatility. Versatility is very, uh, it's a versatile stat. <laughs> it increases damage, it increases healing, and it decreases damage taken, which is great it does, it does everything um what sucks about it is that it does not scale well there's no point in stacking this finally multi-strike so what multi-strike does is basically uh say you have 30 percent multi-strike chance every ability you use damaging or healing has a 30 percent chance to do 30 percent of that damage and has another 30 percent chance to do another 30 percent of the original damage the bonus for protection paladins is that we have a passive ability called shining protector it gives the chance for incoming heals so other people healing us that same multi-strike chance, two times, 30%, exact same thing. All right, let us get into haste. Uh, what haste does is makes us hit things faster. You know, it makes us do everything faster. Our hit time is lowered so we can hit things more often. It actually lowers our global cooldown of almost all of our abilities to one second if you can cap it at 50%. If you can get your haste to 50%, then your global cooldown is one second. What that means is you click a button, you click Crusader Strike, one second later, you can hit another. So that is the big thing. Now, why is that the big thing? It is the big thing because by lowering our global cooldown to one second, it allows us to maximize our holy power generation while you are actively tanking you can have your shield of the righteous up I'm going to say 80% of the time while you're actively tanking. Now, what that means is that, you know, while actively tanking means that the boss is hitting you. The boss isn't hitting the other tank. The boss is hitting you. Now, that is going to be maximizing everything, everything to the fullest, right? Let's talk about what haste does exactly. Melee haste effects lower the cooldown and the global cooldown of your judgment. Crusader Strike, Hammer of the Righteous, Consecration, Holy Wrath, Avenger Shield, Shield of the Righteous, Hammer of Wrath. 
That's like eight abilities. That is huge. Uh, why it says melee haste effects, that means that it's talking about the haste that you get from your gear, but also from like the buff haste, the raid buff haste, and also from bloodlust or heroism. All of those things do that. However, they cap at 50%. So at 50%, the global cooldown can no longer be lowered. However, the actual cooldown of the ability can still be lowered. So if you when if you've got 50% haste and then you use heroism or bloodlust, then your your all of your cooldowns are even shorter. Next thing, haste works with another one of our abilities. I one of our talents, Divine Purpose. This talent is a talent I recommend pretty much for every single fight. So Divine Purpose, uh, Word of Glory, and Shield of the Righteous have a 25% chance to cause your next Word of Glory or Shield of the Righteous to consume no holy power, but cast as if three were consumed. So what that means is you get free Shield of the Righteous. I use Word of Glory once in a while, sure, but you get free Shield of the Righteous all over the place. Shield of the Righteous reducing your cool reducing your damage intake. Higher Haste means that the global cooldown of Shield of the Righteous is down to one second. That means you can use it, and then if you get that proc, you can use it again in one second. You get the proc again, you can use it again in one second. You can get a huge duration on this. I have seen it using this talent up to a 25 second duration just because I've gotten lucky with the Divine Purpose procs. That is why I highly recommend this. You can, you can have huge uptime with your Shield of the Righteous if you pick this talent and you have 50% haste. Next up, Grand Crusader. When you avoid a melee attack or use Crusader Strike or Hammer of the Righteous, you have a 30% chance to cause Grand Crusader to proc. Uh, what Grand Crusader does is it refreshes the cooldown of your Avenger Shield and it causes it to generate one Holy Power. This now turns your Avenger Shield into another Holy Power generator, which, like we said, having a high amount of haste means that you can generate more Holy Power. Having high avoidance means that you're going to get more Grand Crusader procs. You're going to be able to generate more Holy Power. Having high High haste means you're going to Crusader Strike more and Hammer the Righteous more, thus having another 30% chance every time you use one of those abilities to cause Grand Crusader. Let's get into the Prop Pally 2 set and 4 set for the current tier, which is tier 18. Uh, the 2 set, when you cast Avenger Shield, you gain an Absorb Effect equal to 5% of your maximum health. This does not stack, but it does scale with your health. It scales with your Resolve. So it scales basically the more damage you're taking, the higher this bubble could possibly get. Our 4 set, the big one, the really big one. Your Avenger Shield has a 50% chance to proc Grand and Crusader, which refreshes the cooldown of your Avenger Shield, and it causes it to generate one Holy Power. This means you could use Avenger Shield, and 50% of the time, you're just going to be able to use Avenger Shield again. This became our number one damage this tier. Okay, I have been talking for a really long time all about just the simple stat priority for prop pallies. To sum it up, assuming you have 700 eye level plus that one trinket, your aim is to reach 50% buffed haste, which requires if you are using the Holy Shield level 100 talent, which I do recommend because it gives another 15% block, which is 50 percent avoidance you want to aim to have 3858 haste which is totally doable for a protection paladin what i strive for as a tank is avoidance avoid damage take less damage hold aggro keep other people safe that's your job as a tank as a guardian that's what you have to do I've gone on for long enough. I hope you enjoyed the background video. This was just some uh, pro protection paladin gameplay of a mythic dungeon. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe to get more content every single week. Um, I Right now I do a minimum of four days, four videos a week. I do Minecraft on Mondays. I do Heroes of the Storm on Thursdays and I do World of Warcraft Wednesdays. I also do just a bonus video at some point over the weekend and any other day of the week that I feel like making another bonus video, I try and make another bonus video just because I love making video videos for you guys. Guys, all right if you like heroes of the storm that's gonna be my big one i'm feeling because i just every time i get in heroes of the storm i feel like i should just i should just make another video i should just you know talk about the way i'm building my, my diablo right now that's all i've got for you thank you so much for watching i will see you all next time Hey guys, totally pulling a Wilson from Home Improvement here, but I just wanted to let you know that I just started my Patreon campaign. You can find that at patreon.com slash core gaming. I've got tons of different options for becoming a patron at patreon.com and a few different goals that I'd like to meet. So if you're wondering if there are different ways to support me and my YouTube channel, you can head over there to check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.